Ethereum is once again coming to a critical decision stage with the launch of the ETFs potentially going live within the next few days. I'm going to show you in this video some important levels that you need to be aware of before trading this coin. Before I begin the analysis, if you would, um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the comment section below, I will pin um, a link to our website and also our free Telegram group as well. So the last time I did this update was just before the ETF approvals. Um, and of course they were approved, but they haven't yet gone live. We are expecting that in the next few days to a couple of weeks. And I did mention in the last video how we've been in this two year downtrend, well almost two years. This is looking at the um, Ethereum Bitcoin chart. So this shows the strength of Ethereum over Bitcoin. And for two years now, Bitcoin has been dominant over Ethereum. But once again, and over the last few weeks, we're pushing up towards this resistance trend line to once again try and flip the, the level. Now this means we are coming to a decision stage at some point over the coming weeks. Um, we're gonna, it's gonna decide whether it's gonna flip the resistance or whether it's gonna um, go back down, test the support or potentially even lose the support and head lower. So very critical that uh, for me, I really wanna see this broken now. Once we get a confirmation of this breakout on the weekly chart, consider it such a long-term trend line, this will give us some indication that we're gonna have sort of a rally on Ethereum perhaps for sort of weeks or months even to come. If we go over to the monthly Ethereum Bitcoin chart, we can see something um, e even more interesting. So, you know, everyone's got their eyes on this breakout here, but it is also important to know we have this symmetrical triangle formation as well, which has been running for like seven years now. So if this is, if this is broken out from, this is the level on the weekly chart. We have this uh, symmetrical triangle here that has yet to be broken. And this is likely to give you know, further resistance um, to, to the upside. But of course, this is on a higher time frame. Let's remove this one now to make it cleaner. So we keep you know bouncing from support. But on the, on the monthly chart, if Ethereum Bitcoin breaks this level, sort of around the 0.64 level, this will be an even stronger indication of a rally over the coming months for Ethereum. But going to the USDT pairing, so this is obviously the main one that we, we trade from. I mentioned in my last video how I was looking for an, an optimum entry, um, this was the start of May, of around $2,700. This level did actually just miss. We got 2,800 before a huge, uh, huge move up from there. I was looking at a retest of the daily EMA 200, which didn't quite come at this level. Uh, it actually came later on. So didn't quite get the entry that I mentioned in the last video, but around that level, nonetheless, and a strong move from there. But what has happened in the recent days, a couple of interesting things is, we did break down from this support trend line, running from October when the market started to rally, we have just broken down from this. We also did fall below the EMA 200, so the yellow line here, but unlike Bitcoin, which is still rejecting from it, the EMA 200 for Ethereum was regained uh, pretty quickly. And we're now, we can clearly see that is now our support level on the daily time frame, so like $3,000 support now. The rejection is clear where it's come from, the resistance is the old support trend line is giving some um, some clear resistance here. And also the old um, significant area here, which was the old resistance throughout April 2024, became support here. Looking like this is very likely gonna become resistance again around 3,250. So for me, this brings us to like what I'm looking for from here. You know, we have flipped the EMA 200, but all the time this long-term trend line is rejecting a support. I wouldn't be looking to take any entries. For me, this is this is uh, this is resistance. So what I'm ideally looking for is a flip back above daily acceptance above 3,250. If we get that, that would be acceptance back over this trend line and back over this key horizontal level, and then you look for a move something like that. This gives us, you know, this gives us more confidence that we could perhaps swing this. If we claim above, enter on the retest, swing this back towards $4,000 and beyond after the ETF launch. If we go into the weekly chart as well, this also 
kind of supports the idea. We can see, if I just remove this squiggle here, if we, we can see that the weekly support is really strong here. Exactly this one, two, this looks like it's gonna be the fourth time that $3,000, well, $2,925 was the exact weekly support. Number of bounces from there, once again, it's gonna happen this week. But this trend line that was you know, clean on the daily is equally as clean on the weekly chart as well. So rejection, it looks like at the moment on the weekly, also from this weekly supply, which is exactly at that horizontal level I mentioned. So just to recap, all the time that this is trading below this, below 3,250, we can't rule out a move down to lower levels, perhaps sort of two, maybe we do get that 2,7, 2,600, but if we get a daily and weekly reclaim even of 3,250, then we're confirming deviation here, and then I would look to swing that back up towards $4,000. Hope you found this video useful guys. Let me know in the comments what your long-term targets are for Ethereum and what you think is gonna happen once the ETFs are launched. Are you expecting to move up or are you expecting a retrace uh, in the short term as Bitcoin did? Thanks for watching.